Hey guys, what's up? It is Gregory Lucas and Dr. Melissa Shelton. Today we're going to show you how to apply away and boost in a bottle to some animals for uh, flea tick prevention and a whole bunch of other beneficial mm -hmm. things. So we're going to mix uh, in distilled glass, water yep. in glass, distilled shorts, glass. or um, reverse osmosis water so that your, um, if you're in a pinch, use bottled water just so it's kind of disinfected water. We don't want it like right from the tap so it would start to spoil because I'll even overwinter my sprays that I make um, for the spring here and stuff and keep using them. So, um, glass spray bottle. These are the ones we sell on our website because we know for sure that they hold up to oils. There's not really a guarantee for the spray mechanisms um, if you're putting essential oils into them, but these ones are pretty hardy. There is a lock on the thing. So if you have it locked and you try, you're going to feel like you broke it, and you might have, and we don't replace the ones that you break. Um, but so switch it to an unlocked position so that you'll get a mist. This one doesn't, it just has the water in it so far. This will crack open our away. And honestly, like I don't count drops very well anymore, um, but especially when it's for my dogs or for certain purposes. If I am doing it for a delicate animal, I might start counting. I'm gonna put probably about 60 drops in this four ounce spray bottle. All right guys, so once that is mixed with 60 drops, um, again, the beautiful thing about the away is you can make it as strong or as light as you want. You can always add more. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, shake, shake. That make it, makes it so it's milky looking now because it's dispersed all through the water. We don't have to add like chemicals or anything to it to further disperse it. Let your own arm power do it for you because you don't have to worry about it then. All right, so this is kind of one of the routines that I'll do with my dogs before they're going to go out for the day. So I might do the away after it's shaken up and mist it all over them, especially paying attention to like their ankles. That's where all these, um, the critters start to crawl up. So and this is kind of a fine, you know, a fine application for them and we can kind of rub it in afterwards. And that, that's gonna be a light, um, protection for him. So it might be pretty good for the mosquitoes. Over time, it's going to accumulate more and more. This is probably not going to be effective enough for like total tick repelling actions right this second for him. Um, but we're not really in like a horrible tick time right now. If I need a lot of extra protection, I might actually just it. So I can take some of my away and a couple drops just straight up. Don't shake the bottle. If the drops aren't coming, just wait for gravity to work. Um, but so now if I have a couple drops in my hands, I can make a petting application around his ankles too. So that's kind of where um, I talk about layering the actions of the oils. So I can make kind of a repellent band around where these things want to crawl up and I can do I can put the drops again and then coat his other his other legs or if he's like one of those ones he's getting lots and lots of the uh, ticks around the the ears here I can do this instead of putting it on a bandana that's on them I kind of prefer to pet them onto their skin um, and then boost in a bottle would be kind of some of his normal stuff that he's just normally getting if, as I drip that up his back, I would usually do this. This is kind of just, not before he would go outside, but this is kind of his, a normal routine for him. I start it dripping and I just kind of actually drip it up the back. And then we rub it in. And this is right where, you know, fleas love to bite on the rear end. This is gonna get him um, kind of overall body support and protection and stuff too. So we're kind of using multiple layers all the time to protect them further. I can take the residue of the boost in a bottle too and use that on the ankles, rubbing it around to make sure, um, you know, that he's got more protection from the ticks starting to climb up. And that's kind of our routine, like sitting there's days where I'll spritz them with that away spray every time they come outside. 